Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you my latest Magma Blade build, where we will push this amazing curve sword to the limit to discover its true potential. This weapon is very special to me because I find it extremely cool, fun to play and above all, very easy to use. This makes it a fantastic choice for any type of player looking for a strong and stylish build without relying on status effects. They also nerfed the Magma Blade a few hours before the release of the DLC but in a minimal way, the only change being a slight reduction in the Magma Shower stance damage. Even so, it remains one of the most overpowered weapons you can choose in this game, consistently maintaining its effectiveness in any scenario. A quick example of this weapon's quality is Mog. This dude has 80 resistance to fire damage and still gets completely destroyed by the Magma Blade in mere seconds. However, this weapon will only reach its max performance when used with the right build. The Magma Blade deals physical and fire damage. It scales C with Strength, C with Faith and D with Dexterity. We will prioritize Strength and Faith to get the best results. There are multiple ways to use this weapon, which is why why many people don't find it as good as others do. I've seen players using this weapon with the gold free icon for no reason, or with the claw talisman when power stands in the blades. While it is not bad, it's not the most optimal setup. Also, when using this blade, you need to focus on spamming magma shower as much as the situation allows. This extraordinary ability is the main source of the blade's destructive power. It's a quick assault of spinning slashes that pushes the successive attacks buffs to their max stages quickly, while also dealing a tremendous amount of fire damage from the magma streams. And of course, this will now be boosted by the awesome talisman of the dread. But in case you prefer the basic attacks rather than the skill, you can use another magma blade and enjoy the absolutely broken power stance moveset of this weapon class. As you can see, besides of being an extremely effective weapon, it has an insanely high versatility that allows you to dominate the hardest scenarios of the game easily. My favorite feature of this weapon is how practical to use it is. You don't require an advanced knowledge of the game to be able to deal an insane amount of damage to your targets. The only downside is its short range. So if you prefer mid or long range combat, the magma blade might not be the best option for you. But in general, it's a fantastic blade that can give you tons of hours of fun if you like a flashy and powerful combat style. First of all, I'm going to show you the build and then we will beat every major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. We are going to be using the Magma Blade on plus 10 and then still we have available to cast our main buffs. If you want you can use another Magma Blade to use the power stance moveset but it is completely optional. Remember that you can use any weapon with the Raptor of the Mist of War to easily dodge the Radan's light explosion attack. And if you need a little bit of help with the stance damage you can use the Uchigatan on plus 25 with the Crack Blade Ash of War. The affinity doesn't matter but if you want to get the most out of this weapon as well, use it in the heavy affinity. We are going to be using the Rakshasa's armor set cause it will increase our damage by a total of 8% if we were the entire set. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Shard of Alexander, the Talisman of the Dread, the Millicent's Prosthesis and the Rodent Windsor Insignia. If you are missing one of these talismans, you can use the Fire Scorpion Charm. It is a great alternative to replace the Millicent's Prosthesis. The difference between these two talismans is actually pretty small. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to rock the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear. But as I know that some of you guys don't like to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear because of the HP Drain effect, you can perfectly use the Flame Shrouding Crack Tear to increase your damage by a total of 20%. It is very similar to the Blood Sucking Crack Tear but only dedicated to the fire damage with the benefit that it doesn't drain your HP on time. I prefer the Blood Sucking Crack Tear cause it boosts the overall damage but being honest if you don't like the HP drain effect using the Flame Tear is a very good strategy as well. This weapon consumes a lot of stamina so be sure to craft some Pickle Torten Legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. In order to obtain the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 24 on Mind, 40 on Endurance, 80 on Strength. 15 on Dexterity and 50 on Faith. Golden Vow and Howl of Shabriri are going to be our main buffs. A great alternative to Howl of Shabriri would be Flame Grand Me Strength. It is a slightly less powerful but it doesn't make you take more damage. So it's up to you which one you want to use. And as you can see I have my Scattered Tree Blessing on the level 20 and if you want to deal the same amount of damage I will deal, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. To buff your character with this weapon, first you have to use your Flask of Wondrous Physic, then Golden Vow, then your pickle torten leg and just after that you are going to cast your body buff. In this case I'm going to use Howl of Shabriri but you can use Flame Grand Me Strength perfectly fine. After that refill your FP your HP and with that you should be ready to go. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we set this game on fire? Okay.
That is amazing. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> nice. Finally. Okay. Okay. Wow. That was a very interesting maneuver. Okay. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Easy. Quickly, quickly, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it, it's very good, nice, come on, I can't see anything, come on baby, let's destroy her, come on baby, let's destroy her, come on, come on, Oh, nice try, Romina. <laughs> 40k damage, baby. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Oof. That was a little bit early, honestly. Okay, here we go. Okay. I'll take it. Nice. Quickly! Oh my god. <laughs> I almost didn't count it, bro. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Okay, homie, you better come quickly. Nice. 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 You got down, baby. Come on. Let's go, guys. Let's destroy him. Oh, my gosh. This is beautiful. Come on. One more. One more. Ha! Goodbye. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Oh, beautiful baby, close. <laughs> Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Where are you going, bad boy? Go art. Come on. Come on, baby. Give it to me. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Easy.